Hello everybody, my name is Isaiah, and I'm back with my second episode of my Undertale Genocide run. Now, I'm still just kicking off the series, but nevertheless, I hope you all enjoy. Switch. Alright, yeah, this is the room where there's... I don't know which one it is, but there's a bunch of, like, freaking carrots or something you can kill. So, I think there's one in this room. Yeah. Oh, there's a... Oh, there's a faded ribbon in this room. Cool. Um, I don't know what it does, but some sort of probably defense on... Oh! There's your bandage, which is... Heals 10 HP and already has been used several times. Oh, I was using the bandage before? Uh, I don't even know how to on a club thing. I don't think you can without equipping something else, so... Go in here. I already know there isn't. Oh yeah, because the switch is in here. But I gotta find that, um... Um... Oh, the carrots aren't here anymore because I freaking killed them last time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, god damn it. But what can you do with them? Like, just, uh, like, I'm just, like, I wonder what you can do, like, if there's something special you can do with them if you didn't kill them. No. Fighter is not access, simply my exhortation and perspective. Okay. Well, that works, I guess. If you can read this, press the blue switch. Oh yeah, there's a blue switch behind here. <laughs> That's fun. This second part here... Friggin' got me, like, stumped for a while. Can we just press the red switch? Because this doesn't look red, it's orange. Like, are you kidding? <laughs> it's not red. Uh, what's the last one? If you can read this, press the green switch. Oh yeah, there's one behind here, but then there's another one behind here. And this is the one. And that one, like, plops you. Where does it plop you again? I should probably check. And we're here. Okay. Um, that leads somewhere. This goes to. Oh, yeah, over here where the toy knife is. Let's grab that. <laughs> we're gonna need all the shit that we can get. How much damage? It's like, yeah, three. It's crap, but it's, the start. it's a starting item, so it's expected to be crap. Let's uh, equip that stuff right there. All right, now we're rocking a bow tie and a uh, toy knife. <laughs> oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. <laughs> How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. I friggin' killed everything. <laughs> I haven't killed everything yet, though. Save this shit up. And then... I don't know if monsters spawn in this one, so I'm gonna just go backwards and fight some monsters, and I'll be right back. Man, I really feel like shit for doing this, not gonna lie. Meow! Just trying to run away. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> I gotta do this. If I kill everything, then I can reset so that I don't have to kill anything at all. <laughs> Alright. But nobody came. Oh! Oh yeah, I I forgot! Friggin... Oh, my girlfriend told me about this. How this is how you tell when you've cleared an entire room. Is that when you open it up. So I was one off with my accounting before. So when when you grind and and it says nobody came. Oh shit, that music. The music completely changed. Oh shit. <gasps> what? Is it okay, but nobody came. Alright, yeah. Holy crap. Oh, this game is gonna be insane. 
Why does it keep doing it? Okay, anyways, I'm gonna skip to when I get back. <laughs> to, uh, where I was before. I wonder what she's gonna think of me. Okay, I'm, I'm skipping now. <laughs> Man, they're really abnormal and letting me know that nobody came. Oh, and the freaking frogs are gone too. They're scared of me. Man, the, but nobody came is actually like two, every two seconds. Every time this old tree grows and he leaves, they fall right off. But I don't think monsters can spawn in here, so... Oh, Jesus. Determination. That's all it says! It doesn't even give me any of the special, like, any of the cute text or anything. It just says, Determination. Oh, man. Do you smell that? Surprise! Oh, this is actually pleasant music. I should not get used to it, because it's going to be the only time. Surprise! It is butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I was... I want you to have a nice time here, so I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. <laughs> Thanks. No surprise. Let's go. Oh, shit. <laughs> She's like right in my face. This is it. I'm your own. I hope you like it. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to kill you soon. Something burning? Oh, make yourself home. Your soul is burning. No, actually, that's my soul. This face is the face of a soul, a burning soul. These cool toys, they don't interest you at all. No, they don't, because the only interest is my toy knife that I murder people with. <laughs> I'm a terrible person and I feel bad, but you know, it's all for the greater good. This is all a dream. Oh, probably my favorite music of this entire game is the nighttime like music right in this room. I just love it so much. It's adorable. No, I'm carrying too much. God damn it. Um Right, the stupid stick. What does the stick even do? Honestly, I don't even know. Uh throw out this stupid bandage. It's only 10 health. Probably need it, but I probably should have thrown away the stick, but cause it's probably not useful in this run, but who knows? Tutorial, yes. Read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. <laughs> <laughs> Not Papyrus, um, Sans, sorry. But, this is all just a dream, that's what I have to tell myself, it's all just a dream. The real life is gonna be when I do the, uh, pacifist route. <laughs> Anyways, I have gone through this already at all. If you're watching this, you've probably also gone through this game already. So I don't need to go through all this flavor stuff. Suppose you want you could put your hand inside. Yes, let me put my hand inside the fire. <laughs> I'm already I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a uh, curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I always want it and not a surprise. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? I can answer that for you. You can go home once you've killed everything in this underground. <laughs> this is not my home now. Um, 72 uses for snails. How about it? How to exit the ruins? How about an exciting snail fight? Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? <laughs> Interesting. How to exit. I have to do something. Stay here. I will be right there. to take any of it because it's too massive. So she said. <coughs> you wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. I can't. I must kill you. Come back. 
I have murder in my bones. <laughs> Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. And I'm only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. Honestly, when I first played this, my girlfriend had to, um, explain to me that Tariel and Asgore were husband and wife. I didn't even get it when, when he basically bluntly said that, that they were. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? Hmm. You are just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Wait. Why are you looking at me like that? Like you have seen a ghost. Do you know something that I do not? Oh no, because I killed her before. That is impossible. Ah, oh, it's because I freaking killed her before. Jesus. Blocks the way. Let's do it. I'm sorry, Tariel. What the fuck? What? You, you really hate me that much? No, I don't hate you. Now I see who I was protecting by keeping you here. Yeah, you're protecting the rest of the world, not you, but them. Ha. Ha. Oh my god, that's so brutal. Jesus Christ, I was expecting it to be like way harder, but instead, they just have to break her heart and mine. But, I brought this upon myself. It's all for the greater good. It's all so that I can do that sweet, sweet pacifist run. <laughs> Oh man, that is so brutal. Yeah. Jesus, one hit, and she's just freaking dead. Oh my god. Well. Oh. Flout. What? Haha. <laughs> You're not really human, are you? What? Yes, I am. No. You're empty inside. Oh. Just like me, in fact. Yeah, I actually am. Especially after that first ending. You're easy, right? We're still in inseparable after all these years. God damn it! I killed you, okay? I killed you right away without hesitation last time. I'll do it again. Listen, I have a plan to become all-powerful. Even more powerful than you and your stolen soul. <laughs> Let's destroy everything in this wretch world. Everyone, everything in these worthless mem memories, let's turn them all to dust. That's a wonderful idea. That's a wonderful idea. God damn it. Oh man, that makes me hate myself more than anything that I'm friggin' um, kind of on the same side as Flowey. God freaking damn it, I hate Flowey so much. I love his character, but I hate him. Oh. <sighs> No game has ever made me hate myself so thoroughly. And so it begins. We have taken out our first major target in this game, and boy does it not feel good at all. I mean, I know that's like the point of the game, but I have not played a game that has made me feel worse about myself. <laughs> but... Anyways, uh, this is just the beginning, and uh, I just can't wait to get to that sweet, sweet pacifist run. But if you liked the video and liked the video, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.